gonna miss you. Take care of the family for me, okay? I came in an hour early to see if I can use the lounge to get some work done, but it's Martin Luther King Day, it's very busy today. excited about it because it's going to be the coldest temperature that I've ever been in. The other day it was up to like 5 degrees at night. I've never been in that kind of temperature. I am a coastal, born and raised in Colombia, right on the coast, on the beach. I live in Miami my whole life, so I'm traumatized by the cold. I'll tell you that story later. I'm starting to feel as if I got bamboozled because I bought this priority pass thinking that I'm gonna have access to all the lounges all around the world. Wrong. This kind of weather. <laughs> the freaking ice won't let him turn the wheels, and now we're stuck. <laughs> oh my god. Now we gotta go back inside because the car won't move. We got stuck. I'm getting a bigger car. Made it to the very, very, very small town of Bangor, Maine. So small that the only tourist attraction that they have here is Stephen King's house. Very small town, very, very cold town. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I absolutely despise the cold. I am traumatized by it. And I was gonna use the end of this video to tell you that story, but then I realized not really all that interesting basically I went camping one weekend it was really cold it rained I got wet and because of that I've been just completely traumatized so let me just spare you those details and instead just fill you in on what's going on last year was one of the greatest years of my life uh, for many reasons one of them being the fact that it was my first year ever hitting six figures my second year in business which is amazing 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 and i'm so grateful for that but also being fully transparent there's a lot of difficulty that comes with it as well right i moved into a new house new studio 
So of course there's a lot of expenses there. I hired an editor. A lot of other challenges that I've never dealt with before have come up. Overall though, there's not really much that I can complain about. Towards the end of the year, I did have a little bit of a, uh, how can I call it? A little bit of a mental breakdown. And I exaggerate when I say this because at the end of the day, I, I'm extremely grateful with the, my life and I know for a fact that I have an amazingly blessed life. But yeah, there are a lot of things that I was struggling with, you know, trying to um, really balance out my priorities, trying to stay focused, right? Um, trying to not overwork myself. A lot of things that I'm not necessarily gonna go into detail in this video, but I did wanna say that I'm committed this year. One of my goals that I set for this year is to post more regularly content like this because truly this is the kind of content that got me into this industry in the first place this is the kind of content that i'm passionate about i love taking you guys along with me on my travels you know giving you insight of of, of you know the way my brain works and and just sharing these little lessons that i take out of everyday life uh here in maine i gotta shoot tomorrow i gotta be up early so i'm just gonna wrap it up there tomorrow maybe i'll take you behind the scenes uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's my life as of right now. You guys are all caught up. I hope that you stay tuned along this journey, and I gotta go get showered and get ready for uh, tomorrow. It's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna be recording everything. So.